smoke drifts across the field of battle. The dead and injured litter the ground. The Duke of Marlborough and Prince Eugene of Savoy's allied army, made up of British, Dutch and Austrian soldiers, stands on the verge of a great victory. Their French and Bavarian foes have been vanquished. The year is 1704, and the Battle of Blenheim proves a key moment in the wars of the Spanish succession. The events that take place around this small town in southern Germany will help to change the course of European history. Our painting displays the battle as it nears its end and gives us a sense of its sheer scale and complexity. The Allied victory was a model of coordination and cooperation with the two forces attacking simultaneously. Effective communication was key to their success. Many soldiers can be seen carrying bugles in the painting. Bugles were the equivalent of radios used to communicate instructions. Their high pitch could cut through the noise of the battle. Flags are also used for communication and identification purposes. The Duke of Marlborough sits proudly on his chestnut horse as he points his sword towards the battleground. His captured adversary, the French commander Marshal Tallard, is transported away by horse and carriage. Tallard's men, however, face a more dismal fate. Many of the fleeing Franco-Bavarian troops can be seen drowning in the cold waters of the River Danube. In the background, Fires have broken out in some of the village buildings, suggesting a bleak outcome for any wounded soldiers abandoned inside them. The Franco-Bavarian army suffered devastating losses. 38,600 were killed, wounded or taken prisoner. In contrast, Allied casualties numbered 4,500 killed and 7,500 wounded. Blenheim was the first major defeat that a French army had suffered in over 50 years and destroyed its aura of invincibility.